Have you ever wondered what if you're going in a car and an alien comes in front of you? What if a good alien comes to Earth but government captures him? How humans will treat him? Let's see the world through the eyes of an alien named Paul. At the beginning of the story, we see a little girl named Tara, whose dog suddenly starts barking at something outside. When Tara goes out to see what it is, she sees a spaceship has landed on top of her dog. This sight completely astonishes Tara. And now, the story shifts ahead by several years, and we meet two friends named Willie and Clive. Both of them are huge fans of comics. They are such big fans of comics that they've come all the way from England to America just to attend a comic con. After attending the comic con, both of them head towards Area 51 because there were rumors that many years ago, a spaceship had landed there. They were eager to see it for themselves. As they are leaving, they stop at a restaurant. When Clive goes to the restroom, Willie starts laughing while talking to the restaurant owner. Just then, two burly ruffians arrive, and it seems like Willie is laughing at them. This makes them angry at Willie, and they start to act tough with him. Willie gets scared when he sees them and goes quiet, and when Clive returns, both of them quickly leave the place to avoid any trouble. However, as they were leaving, these two fools end up bumping into the car of those two ruffians. After this, they quickly drive away in a van, but at night, suddenly, a car starts following them. They think it's the same car belonging to those ruffians, and they believe they're being pursued to be harmed. So, they start speeding up in an attempt to escape. However, the car doesn't seem to be chasing them, and just as it's about to overtake them, a major accident occurs, causing the car to flip over. These two get out of their van and approach the accident site, where they see an alien. Upon seeing this, they are both shocked, and Clive, terrified, has an accident in his pants and faints. Willie was nervous upon seeing him, but the alien calmed him down and told him his name was Paul. He tells Willie that there are very dangerous people after him, so they need to leave quickly. After this, both of them help Clive into the car and head north to get away from there. After they leave, at the accident spot, a government secret agent named Agent Zoyle arrives. He examines the accident and informs his senior lady about it, telling her that Paul has escaped from their hands. The lady tells Zoyle that the alien must have sent a signal to his companions, which is why he fled. Then she instructs Joy that she is sending two more agents to help him. However, she warns him not to disclose anything about the alien so that the world remains unaware of its existence. And then, when Clive regains consciousness in the van, he immediately attacks the alien, thinking it might pose a threat to them. But Willie reassures him that it's not a danger to them. While Clive was unconscious, Paul and Willie had formed a strong bond. However, as they continue ahead, they encounter a checkpoint. The officers stop them and proceed to check their vehicle, but they find nothing except the pants in which Clive had his accident. These officers were the agents sent by Joy's senior lady to assist Joy, but these two fools have no idea what they're looking for. After this, Clive and Willie leave from there. Since they don't see Paul in their van either, they think it is all just a dream. Just then, Paul appears in front of them and explains that whenever he holds his breath, he becomes invisible. When those two foolish officers came to check the car, Paul took off his pants and disappeared. The next morning, Agent Joy meets with those two foolish agents and asks them if they saw anything strange during the night's check. They tell him that only one van had passed by, and they found only one pair of pants inside, which had been soiled. Agent Joy understands that this must have happened because of seeing the alien. So, he now sets out with those two agents in that direction. On the other hand, as Willie and Clive were driving, a bird collided with their vehicle. Clive and Willie step out to find the bird dead. Just then, Paul comes forward, takes the bird, and uses his healing power to bring it back to life. Seeing this, Clive and Willie are quite delighted. However, Paul immediately eats the bird and tells them, I don't enjoy eating the dead. After this, the three of them continue on in their van. Here, while Willie is sketching Paul, he asks him if he can also revive a human in the same way. In response, Paul tells him that he has never tried it before, but bringing a human back to life might cost him his own life. Additionally, Paul informs him that he was captured by the government in secret and kept hidden from 
They extracted a lot of information from him, but when they were about to dissect him to find out where his power came from, Paul managed to escape. After this, the three of them stay at a private farmhouse for the night, where Ruth and her father used to offer parking space in exchange for money. Here, when Willie sees Roth, he becomes infatuated with her. Ruth had one damaged eye which is why she wore peculiar glasses. For privacy reasons, she takes Willie's passport with her. After this, the three of them drink alcohol throughout the night and have a great party. The next day, Ruth arrives in their van. She asks them about their third companion because she had heard their voices while they were partying the previous night. Just then, Paul talks to her from inside the restroom. As Ruth converses with them, it becomes evident that she has strong faith in God and believes that there is only one world in this universe, created by God. However, Paul starts arguing with her from inside, asserting that there are more worlds in the universe. This angers Ruth, and she challenges him to prove the existence of other worlds. Now, to prove his point, Paul comes out and asserts that there are more than just the people in this world. However, upon seeing him, Ruth faints. Because of this, the three of them decide to take her with them as well. However, Willie's passport was still at Ruth's house. So, to retrieve the passport, Paul turns invisible and goes to Ruth's house. When he sees Willie's photo on the passport, he bursts into laughter, which alerts Ruth's father. He mistakes Paul for a devil and starts chasing him to shoot him. However, Paul manages to escape and jumps into the van. But, during their escape, a sketch that Willie was working on falls out of the van. This sketch is discovered by Ruth's father, and he finds out about Paul through it. When Ruth regains consciousness, she is extremely startled upon seeing them. Willie and Clive try to explain to her, telling her that he is an alien who came from another world. However, Ruth still believes that there is only one world. To prove his point, Paul gently places his hand on Ruth's head and shows her a glimpse of his world, along with the entire universe. On the other side, at Roth's house, the police officers arrive. They question Roth's father, and one of them finds a sketch of the alien among the belongings. Upon seeing this, he understands that they are searching for the alien. So, they also headed in the direction where a Clive and Willie had gone. At the same time, Ruth's father also starts following them. After witnessing the entire universe, Ruth becomes extremely anxious because everything she has believed in so far seems to have vanished. She had been living in fear, always worried that if she did something wrong, God would punish her. Due to this fear, she had never truly enjoyed herself before. Now, Willie explains things to Ruth, and she begins to understand. She also expresses her desire to start living more freely, and even kisses Willie. Meanwhile, in the car, Clive starts feeling jealous of Willie because not only did he find a girl, but Paul also befriended him first. At this, Paul reassures Clive and assures him that they're all friends now in the end. Afterward, Ruth and Clive also get into the car. Here, Paul asks Ruth about her eye, and she explains that her eye got damaged when she was three years old. Paul uses his healing power to restore her eye, and now Roth can see with both eyes. This makes everyone very happy. After this, Ruth asks him to stop somewhere to call her dad so that he doesn't worry about her. Therefore, they all stop together at the place where Ruth is making the call to her dad. Agent Joy answers the phone because they have taken Ruth's phone from her house, and they manage to trace their location. Upon learning this, Ruth quickly cuts the call and urges Clay and Willie to leave immediately. But they end up encountering the same two thugs whose car Willie and Clive had collided with earlier, and they chase Clive and Willie to harm them. However, Paul intervenes and scares them off by revealing his alien form, leaving the two thugs terrified and unconscious. Following this, they all take the van to a deserted place and spend the night there. On the other hand, the three agents arrive at a club where one of them shows a picture of Paul to the two thugs. When they see the image, they become extremely frightened, confirming the agent's belief that they are indeed looking for the alien. The next day, when Paul and the rest woke up, their van was quite far from them, so Clay and Willie take Paul with them, disguised as a joker, to reach the van. But foolish Clive spots a sword on the way, and they go into a shop to buy it. 
Meanwhile, Agent Zoyle reaches their van where Ruth is. He doesn't recognize Ruth as her eye is now healed. He shows her his picture and asks if she's seen him, but Ruth denies it. However, the other agent of Zoyle arrives at the same shop where Clive and Willie are. He sees Paul and recognizes him. Without much thought, he starts firing at them, but somehow they manage to escape with their van from there. Now that those two goons had learned about Paul, they decided to take charge and leave Zoyle on his own. Then, everyone starts following Paul's van, including Roth's dad. However, Paul cleverly manages to trick them by strategically placing his van behind a large signboard. This way, he outsmarts them, escaping their sight. After this, Paul tells them not to go through so much trouble for him, assuring them that he can handle things from here on. However, they insist on staying with him as they have formed a strong friendship with Paul by now. Then, Clive and Willie go to a store to buy a firecracker. However, they ran away with it without paying because they didn't have any money left. They quickly return to their van. The shopkeeper reports the theft to the police, and because of the description, Agent Joy realizes that it was Clive and Willie. He manages to track their location. Joy quickly changes direction in his car and starts heading towards their location. The two agents and Roth's dad also follow closely behind. On the other hand, Paul leads them to a house. As they open the door, they find an elderly woman. This elderly woman was actually the one who was present when Paul arrived on Earth, and it was from his spaceship that her dog, also named Paul, had died. This is why the alien also adopted the name Paul. However, people considered this old woman to be insane because she claimed to have brought an alien out of her spaceship. One day, government officials came, and they convinced the whole world that there had never been a spaceship on Earth. This led everyone to believe that her story was false. The elderly woman becomes quite emotional upon seeing Paul. She had always believed that one day, Paul would come back to her. Here, they engage in a conversation, and the elderly woman goes to the kitchen to turn on the gas to make tea. However, just then, Agent Zoy and his two goons arrive, and to escape, everyone rushes out. On the other side, Agent Joy's second companion tries to shoot them, but due to the gas being on, the entire house explodes, killing him in the process. After this, Agents and Roth's dad also continue to pursue them. Meanwhile, the second assistant agent comes up to Paul's parallel position. However, before he can catch Paul, Paul causes the assistant's car to crash and the car blasts and the agent dies. Agent Joy, still in pursuit, informs his boss that he now has the situation under control. However, the lady boss replies that she doesn't care and is coming to the scene with her team. On the other side, Paul and the others reach the spot where Paul's spaceship was supposed to land. They light a firecracker to signal the spaceship, but just then, Agent Zoyle's boss arrives. Agent Zoyle also arrives at the scene, but he starts attacking his boss's men because he was Paul's ally and had helped him escape from jail. However, his boss's guards injure him. Following this, Clive steps forward to confront the lady, but she ends up beating Clive and Willie. Just then, Tara steps in and knocks her out with a single punch. Meanwhile, Roth's dad shows up and presents Roth with the same Bible she had dropped. He then shoots at Paul in an attempt to kill him, but the bullet hits Willie, and he dies right there. Everyone is saddened by this, but Paul rushes to Willie and begins healing him using his powers. Agent Zoyle reminds Paul that using this power could cost him his own life, but Paul continues to heal Willie, enduring a great deal of pain in the process. Ultimately, he successfully revives Willie, bringing immense joy to everyone. Suddenly, Agent Zoyle's boss revives and attempts to shoot them, but at that moment, Paul's spaceship lands on her, killing her instantly. With the spaceship finally landing, Paul bids farewell to everyone and takes Terra with him to his world. And right here, the movie comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like.